Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss how to add the Google tag to your website through Google Tag Manager. You have two options, adding the tag through gtag.js or through Google Tag Manager. You should never add the Google tag using both gtag.js and Tag Manager. This method is usually best for businesses where your website's code may be difficult to update, you don't have a developer background, or if you want to separate out who can change your website's code, like an engineering team, from who can change what's measured on your website, like a marketing team. It's also great when you want to set up a proxy server and manage the data that's sent to Google products in compliance with local ordinances. If you initially added gtag.js, but now you want to switch to Google Tag Manager, you can find instructions in the video description and Help Center article. Before we begin, make sure you can access the code on your website. This will make things a lot easier after you create your website container. Go to tagmanager.google.com, sign in to your Google account. In Tag Manager, make sure you're in the account section, then click Create Account. In Account Setup, enter an account name. This will be the name of your business. Select the country where your business is based. Optionally, choose to share anonymous data with Google. In Container Setup, enter the name of your website. If your business has more than one website, enter one of the websites here. Later on, you can create more containers in your account for your other websites. Select Web to create a container for a website. If you have an app, AMP site, or server-side tagging, choose one of the other options. Unless you know you need those options, web is probably going to suit most of your needs. Click Create and review and agree to the terms of service. Next, we'll add the Google Tag Manager snippets to your website. These are different from gtag.js and allow you to set up the Google Tag within Google Tag Manager instead of installing it in your website's code. In Google Tag Manager, make sure you're in the Workspace tab. Click your container ID in the top right. You'll see an ID that starts with GTM dash. Follow the on-screen instructions to copy and paste the snippets into your website's code. Once the changes are saved and deployed to your website, enter your website's URL and click test to make sure you've added the snippets correctly. Click OK. Now that you've added the Google Tag Manager container to your website, you can decide which tags you want to add. Google will use those snippets to add the tags to your website. Open the container for your website in Tag Manager. Click Tags on the left. In Tags, click New. Click Tag Configuration to choose what kind of tag you want to set up. Since we're just getting started, click Google Tag to set up tagging for your website. When we want to add additional measurement features, we can choose other products in the panel. Find your tag ID using the methods we discussed in a previous video. You can find a link to that video in the description of this one. Enter a name for the Google tag and click Save. You won't see any data come through your measurement products until you verify and publish your changes. To verify your setup, go to Tag Manager and open the container for your website. In Workspace, click Preview to launch Tag Assistant. Enter your website's URL and click Connect. Make sure you're getting data as you click around your site. To publish your changes, in Workspace, click Submit. Select Publish and Create Version. Enter a name and description for the version so you can remember what you changed. Click Publish. In this video, we learned how to create a Tag Manager container, set it up on your website, add tags to our container, and then publish our changes. Happy measuring.